This conference will now be recorded. So can I start the class, today's class? Yeah, please. Uh, I, I, unless if you want to wait for Jamal, but you can start. Just, it's up to you, sir. Okay. I, I started. Yeah. yeah, I started recording it, so he he can uh, check the recording. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Just, I'm sorry, just to remind you, I have a class after 45 minutes. You know, you know that. You know, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know, correct. I apologize about the situation, but this class will take again 10 days, 10 more, more days. I hope we will finish. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you are able to see my SAP screen, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So in my last class, we discussed on the routing correct yes, yes okay. correct yeah. okay now after routing the another master data is a production version yeah yeah this production version is a mandatory master data in s4 hana in ecc without this master data also we can proceed but yeah. In, yeah, in S4 HANA, this master data is a mandatory. Yes. Okay, this master data is a mandatory. So, and this master data is a simple master data. It is nothing but a combination of BOM plus routing. We will oh, enter you. the yeah, BOM details and routing details in the master data. Production version. Yes, production version. Okay, the mm -hmm. combination of bomb and routing we will maintain. And yeah. to create this production version, we will use the transaction code or MM02 only. Yeah. For creation oh. or change, yeah. For display, everything you can use the same transaction code. Oh, the same for the article. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you want a separate mm -hmm. transaction code, we have a separate transaction code also. That is C223 is a transaction code. If you want to maintain multiple materials production version, you can use the this transaction code also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you can use the MM02 transaction code. Now, I will show you this transaction code. So first time showing you the MM02. Okay. So our material is Honda car. In this, this production version can be maintained either in MRP4 or work scheduling view. Okay, so one of them. A, yeah, one of them you can select. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Now here you can see in MRP4 you have a button prod versions. This is nothing but our production version. Okay. You yeah. click on this. Yeah. You click on this button. One screen will appear. Mm -hmm. On this screen, first column is version number. This you can give any four digit number like pv01 production version 01 any name any name you can give here the next yeah. is text description like production version for honda car any text you can maintain and then you need to maintain valid from valid from means it is a date it is yeah. example like it is valid from today. You can enter today's date. And valid to valid to means you can put the maximum date like end date or you want a specific date only this production version and this BOM you want to use for one year. You can put that date. Okay, this is a date. So then mm -hmm. next you in the bottom you have the details button 
you click on this details button great okay now one more screen will appear okay here i told you this production version is nothing but a bom plus routing so bom and routing details we will give in this screen production version details first is routing details we will give here you can see you need to select a detail planning you select the routing okay and when we save this routing system is generated one internal number correct did you remember that group sorry yeah when we created the production version it yeah. generated one number internal number okay mm -hmm. so that number that number we need to give it here okay if you forget that number also you can search here that number you click on this f4 button you select search using material mm -hmm. and our material automatically will come and plant also will come just to click ok so this is the number actual group number okay. yeah you yeah. select this number you select so in the production version we have maintained the routing here now next is the BOM also we need to maintain that BOM we need to maintain it here bill of material so we expand this F4 you can select this number one and one so select this so you can see BOM and routing details we have given we are not a he created anything else just we created we enter the details which are created early okay um, i'm sorry uh, can I see, do you know, uh, bill of material which one you said we as uh, number one the bomb the bomb the create is number one one yeah correct we have created <laughs> bill of material one i can show you that details I'm going to the CS01, oh, sorry, yeah. CS03, mm -hmm. display bill of material. Mm -hmm. This is the bill of material display. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I enter OK, so here you can see system automatically created this one alternative BOM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never create bomb before. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, got it. So mm -hmm. this one is appearing here. Yeah. So that one yeah. has come. You need to enter that one. Okay. Yeah. Great, great. Okay. And once we enter these details, we need to click and check. This is like whatever we enter the data is correct or not. System will check. Can I ask a question? In in routing, the the, the planning data, planning data, detailed detailed planning task. Uh, list the time is it in routing it is, uh, is it the description or it's come with a group number yeah n is like you can see for each one sap will give one code also oh okay that is a hmm. code for routing oh got it got it okay, okay, okay. list of values yeah but usually we take routing all time or what we do here Rate yeah. yeah, remaining things are it is always a routing. Remaining things are for different modules. Like example, uh -huh. equipment task list is for PM module, plan maintenance. Yeah. Yeah. Inspection plan is for QM module. Yeah, Rate yeah. routing is our module only, but it will come under repetitive manufacturing. Yeah master recipe process manufacturing yes yeah. yeah. so in different areas we will use in different task list plan okay but in our case at present 
you can use the routing because we created the routing you can select the routing here yeah okay mm -hmm. so once you enter bom1 routing details you need to click on check button okay so whatever you enter the details are correct then here under check status you will get a one green bulb here one green bulb will come here okay now i am clicking on this check button so system will tell you task list exist means whatever we enter the group so that group is available so bom exist means whatever we enter the bom number that is available in the system great okay you can close this one now you can see green bulb oh okay. great yeah okay. for, ex for example if you enter a wrong data like in place of one you enter two okay right and then yes. yeah if you check yeah if you check this one you can see bom does not exist mm -hmm. so now bulb will become as a red great okay so this needs to be checked I am putting mm -hmm. one cell and back to one. Okay. So both are green. Okay. Is it clear yeah. how to get production version? Okay. Yes. This one from the view MRB4. I think if yeah. you go to the other one, we the same. We'll have the same possibility. Yes. Correct. Production version. Yeah. Yeah. That correct. Is. Yeah. I will yeah. show you that also. So once you enter these details. You click on continue button again click on continue so now you can click on save button okay great okay now I will show you in the work scheduling in the work scheduling also it is the same button on yeah okay you can see same button will be there and same screen everything is same if you yeah. go to the back details and everything you can see the same okay mm. so they have given this production version in two areas okay is this clear okay. this master data yes absolutely yes great okay now this master data if you want to create for multiple materials like mass maintenance you can use another transaction C223. So this transaction navigation is like under production master data. You can see this is a transaction code C223 production versions. You can open this and here you can see enter your plant you can see mass processing and material code here you are able to see my screen yes yes i'm looking at this one does mean you are you doing you you can do this for like mass processing does mean maybe one thousand uh the data or hundred or hundred this is what you mean the mass processing yeah mass, correct you can, you can mass, yeah. Yeah. yes you okay. can use this transaction for multiple materials mm -hmm. for example you enter only the plant and press enter mm -hmm. okay in this plant you can see all production versions which are maintained it came here like what we maintain honda car has come mm -hmm. Ooh, if man, i yeah, want to, yeah if i want to maintain a new material code automatically it will come here for example okay like this it is you can enter the details here production version text valid from date to date and on the right side you will enter the BOM details and here routing details this is just like Excel file you can enter for multiple materials here in mm02 
you can enter for only single material but here in this transaction code same data you can maintain for multiple materials at a time okay okay and once you enter this one you can check the consistency check also like green bulb is there okay like this you can select consistency check and you can see the data and you can come back this green bulb also will come is yeah. the yellow is missing something in the yellow the first thing is the line missing yeah. something correct okay. so yellow means it is not at checked yellow means you can see not at checked no one has checked this one for example mm -hmm. if you check this so bom only exist no routing mm -hmm. okay no routing okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if you come back here you can see all the mm -hmm. bom details come yeah. green now yeah but you enter only the bom details you are not enter the any details here for example mm -hmm. if you enter the wrong data here like Five triple zero three. Some data I'm entering here. Okay. Now, if you, yeah. If we check it now, mm -hmm. check. Now you can see. I'm going back. Now it is red. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. So this transaction is for the mass processing means. You can enter multiple materials data. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I am clicking on save. Finally, you can save the data. Okay. Is it clear? This yes, data? Clear. Absolutely okay. clear. Yeah. Okay. Now. these five master data is related to pp okay this is only the master data we have material master bom work center routing and production version okay and i will explain you another master data it is not related to pp but it is related to mm purchasing that is purchase info record this purchase info record is required for raw materials okay this info record is required for raw materials so generally this master data will be created by purchasing people nothing but a mm module okay this mm team they will create yes sure we create okay. everything yeah correct okay i think you know how to create it yes, here from you, MM. will do, you will do it as a subcontract uh, um, uh, a purchase for record of subcontract or as a purchase yeah correct. Correct. Yeah, yeah correct so the transaction code we will use for me 11 12 and me 13. okay yeah. so we will create for our material we have a raw material honda tire so we will create info record for this material m11 vendor okay So I'm searching for any vendor is there. 
and uh, one uh, one thing is in s4 hana vendor is called any idea what is called in uh, s4 hana vendor partner no uh, what is called uh, partner business partner business partner business partner yeah 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 that is called as business partner so i have selected one vendor which is already available a100 and i am entering the our material honda tire hi jamal hello i'm here i'm listening yeah hi jamal good evening Hello. yeah uh, till now just we discussed on the production version how to create yes okay this we will use the mm02 transaction and we will create this okay. yeah now i am uh, with production version pp mask data is over now we are discussing the purchase info record which we generally create for raw materials and this will be created by mm team mm persons material yeah. management okay right. so but for our practice we need this one so i am creating it right so the transaction code which we will use for this one is me 11 12 and 13 yeah and for record basically is uh, that uh, keep the all the vendors yeah information connection between vendor and price right price vendor and material combination mm -hmm. okay so here i enter the details <laughs> vendor material purchase organization and plan mm -hmm. you are able to see my screen okay jamal you are able to see my screen yes okay so after entering all these details select the standard info record type and press center so in initial screen nothing is required to enter i am entering only the mandatory data so then you can go to the purchase purchase organization data so here you can enter what is the standard quantity standard quantity means how much quantity you will buy minimum quantity like tires how many tires you want to buy you can enter maybe 10 100 what are the value mm -hmm. and here any question any question sir uh, here i have a question uh, yeah, you, yeah, know, in, you know you are taking a vendor but all mm -hmm. this vendor are created and their export hana does mean business with business partner in a uh, vendor and customer and all this schema so together they work together Does mean it's not the same for vendor because uh, it's for one vendor. Is that right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. okay. If somebody okay. is already created. I am just using that business partner. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now here mandatory field is a price. I am just maintaining some price five euros for one each. Okay. Mm -hmm. only these two are the mandatory data in this info record and you can press enter and press enter you can save it uh did you create the purchase data no i purchase data means it says on the top of uh, because you just save it yeah. you are you are out of correct you see this is info record creation Okay. Right. So I have selected the vendor is A hundred material purchase organization and plant. Mm -hmm. Press enter. So this is the data for general data. Here you will find the data related to some unit of conversion. No, okay. I am talking about the the conditions. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I am going to the next one. I Now see. here you can see conditions net price. Mm -hmm. It is nothing but a to purchase one unit. Mm -hmm. the price is 5 euros okay 
so if now you want the, uh, info record, conditions the info record is created by mm guys right? correct mm people okay for our mrp run we need this info record details also so that is the reason i just created and maintain what is a mandatory data okay in purchase organization data we maintain only the standard quantity and price okay so what is the general data yeah general data is for unit conversion and supplier okay unit of conversion Uh, can we uh, during this process can we sure. change the currency from euro to dollar mm. in info record or uh, when you create the info record yes and uh, you are working and the price come in the euros and uh, you are all the previous like material and other stuff they all are in a us dollar yeah. So how you can change from a uh, euro? It says here condition your euro. Can you? Do you have any way that you can change the from euro to US? Okay, let me check. Six. Here you can maintain that euro also. You can see six USD to one each, and I think I can delete this. Because the deletion indicator is activated. Yeah, you can see. So how you change this P P zero zero and P zero zero one? Can you? Yeah. Just uh, explanation. P00. Okay, so here you can see already this is maintained in uh, in change mode. It will come as a display already because we already maintain in a initial uh, when we are creating it got we enter that we cannot edit here. So here one more tab is there button condition. condition. You need to go there mm -hmm. and here is the uh, select choose. Mm -hmm. And this screen will come condition. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here it will appear. PB00 is a condition type, pricing condition type. Is a standard one. It will appear. So here already, what we earlier maintained five euros is equal to one each. It is there. So I enter here new one like PB00. Mm -hmm. Okay, with some value, and here I maintain unit. Now, okay. uh, when you <coughs> excuse me, when you create when there was a five euros, and mm. then you put the PB zero zero six mm. US dollar, mm. uh, and then now you wanna try to delete the first one PB yeah. five Correct. euros. Correct. So how you calculate the five euro is equal to six US dollar? No, for example, I put that value. I'm mm. not calculating. So that calculation currency conversion will be done by actually the finance people mm -hmm. okay if really you want to integrate this uh, five euros is equal to six uh, us dollars mm -hmm. okay every day as per the your share market that conversions will update into sap by finance team yeah and the other thing is when you delete the first value P zero, mm. uh, I mean five euros, mm. not uh, basically deleted, but it's shown the deleted. So is that, is that the way it works? Yeah, correct. This deletion indicator will activate, but not the whole line will be not deleted. Correct. I see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you go to first uh, uh, the the first page? I mean the the reverse one. I just want to make a copy for just one second. Okay. Have you practiced it in weekend? 
Yeah, I practice it, but I have a question after you end of the class. Then I have a, uh, one or two questions uh, okay. um, about the MM01. So, uh, can you? Yeah, we will discuss now itself. Okay, is it clear the creation of info record? What? We yeah, enter? can you click the general data, please? Yeah. Okay. On a copy. I, I don't know if we will not have any discrepancy now because uh, in the vendor exchange and the purchasing tab, we have a currency, currency dollar or euro. And in the purchase organization, you maintain the currency. I don't know if you use the, uh, here, you use the dollar, and the vendor itself, you use another currency. Maybe we have to listen. And the, the company itself, we, we define the currency too. Yeah. I think this kind of currency will come from vendor also, correct? Yeah, there is one tab in the vendor itself. There is a currency. There is a currency in the uh, a company code itself. There is, yeah. I believe, I'm sure about it. And as there is a currency in the um, process organization, you know? Yeah. So I don't know if we, if we respect correctly or we have discrepancy because we create a process or a process in, in, uh, in uh, the work. Yeah. Uh, can you uh, click the conditions, please? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, we'll we'll take the last one. Yeah. Which one? We'll take the last one you created because uh, the last one it overrides the old one. This is yeah, how it correct. will work. Correct. Yeah. This will overwrite your six US dollars. It will take seven dollars. Yes, I believe so. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Now you can ask the doubts whatever you got during uh, your this one. Jamal, what yeah. is your questions in MM01? Uh, yeah. Can you go to MM02, please? MM02. Okay. And uh, uh, MM02, MM material is Toyota uh, dash zero zero. Toyota. Uh, yeah, yeah, right there, right there. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Okay, just okay. enter. And then enter again. And again. Same plan? Yes. Okay. Hmm. And uh, uh, one more, uh, day, I mean, uh, enter again. Okay. Yeah, MRP. If you go to uh, accounting, which one? Accounting. Accounting. Okay. Here, first thing is why you put ND, no planning? Because uh, uh, I think you did the last time, no planning. If you previously no, you check, I, no, I put oh. ND, not NDPD. Yeah, I put the MRP will not, will not take it if you put ND. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. If you put ND, it won't do any planning. I see, okay, yeah, in accounting view, okay. Now, I have a question here, it's on the top, it says period. Uh, nine, uh, 419, then period 319. Uh, mm. When you create the material, this doesn't show up. And uh, when I create the material, it's showing here. No, it will show you. Okay. Maybe that time this finished good. 
uh, when we creating one uh, raw material first we created the finished good after that we created the raw material while creating raw material we got one error okay that is related to uh, ml activate mm -hmm. ml means uh, this uh, uh, is called the material ledger correct material ledger okay activation okay that we did after we created the pro, uh, finished material okay that is the reason that time this period did not came now these are coming because we activated the material lecture ml no i okay. don't know this is only as showing from 419 hmm. to period 12 18 hmm. then year 19 19 then 18 yeah this is a previous period means uh, it is just like a, a casting of a last period mm. every month they will do the casting run actually this casting people mm. devo people they will do the casting every month so during that month what is the cost for that material you can check here so we okay. don't require this uh, period wise costing and everything okay and the uh, other question i have it says here price is value and then it says currency euro hmm. so my point is so that actually my point over here is can you change from euro to dollar even you are doing material yeah we can do this company code currency it is coming from the company code currency okay we are using already existing plant okay so we are not created any new plant and everything so if you want we can change also this company code currency let me try whether we will it allow now or not If you have some transaction, make it for this company with the uh, euro, and now you can say, it. I think it doesn't recommend this thing. Yeah. Yeah, you can change now. And country also. Country is DE, so that's why it's give. US. Germany. <clears throat> yeah. Now you say. Now let me see. Actually, you did the plant uh, 3000 and company was 3000. Your plant is 3001. Yeah, so, I did for okay. the company code level. Yeah, the company code should be a 30012, I think. Let me see. Company and company code is this one only 3000. Can you? Yes, and company code to client company yeah. code to controlling. Wait. If you check the company code assigned with the plant. Yeah, it's a plan to company code. You can see. Okay. 3000 is assigned to company code 3000 is assigned to the plan 3000. Yeah. yeah. That means you will need uh, the company, company uh, currency. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is a definition of the plan. There is a currency too, maybe. 
Where is that? In, in, in the same document. Maybe, Definition. Uh, yeah, maybe there is a, what is name? A currency? I remember the you know, Maybe I don't, I don't remember in this person. Yeah, let me see. 3000 here, nothing is there. Company call. Edit. No. Company call is uh, there is no company called three zero zero one. Countries US. USD. Like this EN. Yeah. I think it is not allowing now. You may not change the currency since document exists for this currency. Right. Yes. Yeah. You think? This is a no. So it we won't allow now. We love a lot of this. There are so many documents are existing. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Okay. Okay. So presently, we will continue with this one. Okay. Yeah. If any uh, US based plant is there, that we can use that actually. Right. Okay. Okay. Any other question you have? Uh, no, not right now. Maybe. Okay. 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 And also, I send you an email and you see the uh, job descriptions. That's all. Yeah, see. yeah. I saw the job descriptions. But in one of the class, we will discuss that actually. Okay. After, uh, after maybe four or five classes, we will come into that topic. Okay. 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 Now, till now, we have created the master data required for our module. Now, we will go to the cycle. Cycle means what is the starting and ending of our process like in discrete manufacturing under this talk is our scenario okay one thing i'm missing the transaction code you put me 11 what is that transaction yeah. code? that is for uh, creation of purchase info record purchasing info yes yes, yeah. okay. yes. so now we will discuss on the business process mm -hmm. Okay. So in make to stock. Well, yeah, we have only four process. minutes. Sorry yeah, about yeah. this. So, so. Yeah, 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 correct, correct. Okay, I will yeah, just uh, tell about this. Okay. Yeah. In the make to stock scenario, first step is the forecast. Okay. Mm -hmm. Forecast means what is the forecast? <laughs> forecast means in future how much you want to produce. Okay. How much quantity you want to produce, you will predict now itself. How much quantity? Just I want to write it down. Yeah, how much, how much quantity you want to produce, you want to manufacture? You want to produce, I see. That's called okay. forecast. Okay, forecast, correct. For example, car manufacturing is there now. We are in April month. So in month of May, I want to produce 100 cars. Mm -hmm. In month of June, I want to produce 200 cars. Mm -hmm. yeah. So like this, you need to do some forecast. forecast. How much is next month? Mm -hmm. The reason is mm -hmm. why you need forecast. You need forecast because you want to produce 100 cars in the month of May. That means by that time, the raw materials which are required to manufacture this Honda car, mm -hmm. everything should be available by yeah. everything will end be of, yeah, end of April. It should be available. Okay. Otherwise, you cannot produce that material. Right. Okay. So for this forecast, hmm. okay. 
this forecast is very important for manufacturing plants mm -hmm. if you don't forecast you cannot produce the product mm -hmm. okay. because one example like to produce your honda car itself you need at least 500 components components yes like small bolt bulb mm. uh, glass top roof seat cover all these things minimum 500 components will be there mm. and no company will mm, produce these 500 components they will just buy the Different. component from other Different. vendors Different. yeah and they will just assemble that okay so if you don't have a proper planning forecasting planning you mm -hmm. cannot manufacture a product okay you cannot manufacture a product right. okay yeah this is just a brief introduction so tomorrow we will start from how to create a forecasting and then we will follow all these steps this is the cycle of production right now these yeah. forecasts uh, in the production planning suppose you are working in any manufacturing environment mm. and uh, these forecasts is the production planning person will take care or you will get the red flag from the management no production planner person will take care of this forecast okay well he he will take care for the forecast but my, my my point is that mm. they will give you a number we will yeah yeah, yeah correct we will yeah. in may we, will, we need about 1000 cars so this will figure yeah. come from the management right correct and then on the basis will come of, from the management and then then the basis of that uh, 1000 then the production planning person will start to work on correct exactly mm. correct because management will decide how much profit you need to get and how much they want to sell next month based on that they will decide whether it is a thousand or it is a 900 and uh, who will provide the 500 components from mm yeah so after mrp run we will come to know what are the components required and how much each component is required I see. Okay. okay based on this we will get the different documents like planned orders and purchase requisitions for components that we will discuss during the mrp run mm -hmm. okay uh, production okay. planning is actually it's not a yeah big nicola we can you can leave okay it is now only general discussion i will okay, discuss with you. Jamal. i will close it okay thank you okay bye thank you uh, yeah, 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 i say the production planning is uh, is not that much big module so module only the thing is you have to pay attention and they are very integrated and uh, uh, to each other like uh, plan order that you need the purchase location and all these things but these things uh, will, you will be very active at when you are working in daily life, you know. Yeah. Can you repeat your question? <clears throat> I'm, trying, I, I'm trying to say the production planning module mm. is not that much lengthy or big. It's very limited module. Only the okay. thing is it, it's a lot of things they are integrated to each other like plan order. If you have a plan order, then you have a purchase requisition. So Correct. my point is that when you work uh, in uh, on PP module, uh, hmm. then you learn very easily when you work on a daily basis, you know, that's you will be very expert. But initial Correct. stage like me, when I go to assign somebody, give me the job. When I go to work, I think I will make a couple of few mistakes. First instance. Yeah, correct. Right. So correct. then daily, oh. yeah. yeah. We avoid those mistakes. You need to do first practice more. Right. Okay. Once yes. you practice it more, and you should know what is the starting and ending. Right. Okay. Yes. This is 
yeah this is a main thing what is the starting what is the ending you should know right. then each business wise they will if you enter into the business already implemented projects are there only you are going for a support so mm -hmm. you may not get more issues you know if somebody told that my plan order is wrong some user came and told you plan mm -hmm. order is wrong so then you will analyze how the plan order has come from mrp for which material why it is got uh, uh, any wrong in the data maybe a b because of bill of material maybe because of raw material uh, routing there is a wrong data is coming so you can analyze that until so unless you don't know the cycle this starting and ending you cannot right. analyze it so make to our uh, make to stock yeah. our uh, this seven uh, steps are the um, these seven steps are the one that you have to run the make to our make to stock correct. correct okay okay so you should practice more mm -hmm. okay then you will understand and you can easily manage the uh, project means right your work okay yeah. but yeah. more practice is uh, more practice is required right. okay yes okay mr vasu thank yeah. you thanks yeah. for your okay. yeah uh, guidance you are very yeah. good teacher your way of uh, teaching is pretty good yeah okay thank you okay so we will uh, and one more thing is this week i will be there for next two days only tomorrow and the day after tomorrow okay i see after that i will uh, i will go i'm going for a vacation because mm -hmm. in our country mm -hmm. we have a general election oh yeah i know that okay general 